Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show. Hello, if you're new, so today's video is going to be Birds of Paradise in a nutshell. I hope everybody is doing as well as can be, and I really do hope everybody is being as proactive as possible in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. And if you're still on the lookout for some resources, I've linked some in the description. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my commentary. I'm always up for a chat, I'm always up for debate. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a dislike, no hard feelings. And if you really, really like this video, consider subscribing and helping your girl out. So let's jump right into it. Kate gets accepted to a cutthroat prestigious ballet school in Paris on a scholarship in the hopes of securing the prize, a contract with a well-known dance company in Paris. After a student called Ollie there dies from a suspected suicide. She is attacked on her first day at school by Ollie's twin, Maureen, when she discusses his death. Get the f out! Pack your f bitch! You're done! Kate and Maureen then end up being roommates. I know that ain't who I think it is. And Maureen constantly tries to sabotage her. If this bitch don't go home today, every time I see her, I'm going to want to fight her. Mm -hmm. That's just going to be that. And then I'm going to be going home because I keep fighting this girl. Kate is struggling in the rankings and seeks help from the top male dancer, Felipe. And he's more than happy to help her. It turns out that Maureen's parents were the ones who gave Kate the scholarship in Ollie's honour. However, they are not happy that it went to her. Despite their rivalry, Maureen advocates for Kate to stay at the dance school. Interesting. Maureen and Kate begin to bond and make a pact to help each other win the prize. Together forever. Best friend. However, she is warned by another student not to trust her. Uh. And that same student gets sabotaged and taken out of the running. Go against Nikki, it's gonna cost you. After struggling in the beginning, Kate slowly rises up the ranks with Maureen's help. Yeah, we're gonna back, 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 back to the she also starts taking performance enhancing drugs. I wanna be the very best. Turns out maybe Maureen isn't the bad guy, and she wasn't the one behind the student sabotage. It was actually Kate. It's brutal out of here. Kate insists to Maureen it was unintentional. Maureen also asks Kate if she's on drugs, which she also denies. I'm sorry, I was trying to be nice, but that bitch. You look a man. Kate and Maureen bond further and end up having a threesome with Felipe. A student who was previously helping Kate refuses to help her further as the competition slims down. And, got a bump, the competition, blow them all away. and she coincidentally bums out of an important audition. <laughs> Subsequently, Kate excels in the audition and wins a role as an understudy in a ballet production. I don't dance now, I make money moves. After her success, she decides she wants out of the pack she made with Maureen. Kate starts neglecting her partner at dance school to prioritize her understudy work, and in protest, her partner refuses to dance with her for the prize. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. In more bad news, Kate finds out that her dad had to sell their house because Maureen's parents revoked her scholarship. Broke people should never laugh! Kate blames Maureen and confronts her. Oh girl, I can't prepare stuff I ate. Wait a minute, set it off, wait a minute! Maureen denies any involvement, but Kate doesn't believe her. I hate you so much right now! In retaliation, Kate spreads a rumor that Maureen and Ollie were in an incestuous relationship. What? And the reason why he killed himself is because they got found out. Whoa, rumor has is ostracized. Is there anything else I could get you? It's a go back. I don't think I'm comfortable eating here and I'm After the fallout, Maureen considers suicide, but ultimately decides not to. Hey, I actually wanted to quit. But after second thought, I discovered I was made to stay. For the competition, Maureen decides to dance solo, which allows Kate to dance with the number one male dance partner, Felipe. I want it, I got it. 
The day of the prize competition arrives. The top two comes down to Maureen and Kate, but Maureen forfeits automatically making Kate the winner. The winner takes it all. Three years later, Kate is a successful dancer. These are girl brosses. They are gatekeeping. They are slay queening. They are doing this in the name of Allah, of course, but they are doing girl boss shit. And Maureen comes to see her at one of her shows. Oh, Maureen is still dancing, but on the underground scene as a choreographer. She says she's doing well and thanks Kate for pushing her towards her self-discovery. Kate is confused as to why Maureen isn't mad at her for sabotaging her. Breaks down and apologizes. I'm sorry for taking everything out of proportion. I'm sorry for what I did because when my little sister watch that, she's gonna think that's okay. Maureen wishes her good luck. No, 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 no. And the film ends. And that's Birds of Paradise in a nutshell. In terms of my personal thoughts on the film, I thought that it was all right, but not really anything special. I think it was a bit too long. The drama wasn't as juicy as I hoped. The sexual chemistry wasn't as hot as I hoped. And I think a lot of people might be a bit disappointed or underwhelmed. It's very art house esque it's very nice to look at, but ultimately the film was giving me dry baguette. It definitely needed more garlic butter on it. Overall, I'd give it half marks 2.5 out of 5. I personally wouldn't watch it again, but it's not a bad film. It just wasn't giving in my opinion. It wasn't giving what I was expecting it was going to give from the trailer. But I'd be interested to hear from you guys. If you haven't watched it yet, is this something that you are thinking about tuning into? Is it something that you're still thinking about tuning into? And if you have watched it, what did you think of it? Did you think it gave? Did you think it didn't? Do you feel like it was good, bad, okay? Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you have, don't forget to put my notification bell on so you know my next video is dropping. I'm also trying to get to 3.8k subscribers, that's my next short term goal, and I'd appreciate if you helped me hit that. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far. Till next time, guys, bye!